Good morning, cuties. Hello to you from Chinatown here in Singapore. In today's video, we're gonna get very, very delicious. We're gonna have a Michelin hawker stall experience. We're gonna check out stalls and try foods that have been awarded Michelin recognition. Now, one of the stall actually has one Michelin star, and the three other was awarded the Michelin Bib Gourmand Award. Or is it gourmand? Gourmand just sounds so much more fancier. It is basically an award for restaurants that serve high quality food at a very low price. So high quality and cheap. Yes, I'm there. Haro. Haro, I'm here. <laughs> Before we start, today's food tour is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online platform full of classes that you can take with just one membership. So on your next trip, if you're looking to level up your food photography game, maybe you learn some iPhone tips. If you want to pursue your own freelance or creative business so that you can travel and eat around the world, Skillshare has the classes for you. They are giving the first 500 of you guys two months free of classes. So click the link in description, sign up now, and start learning. And start snacking as well. Let's go. And we are starting. Da, 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 da. Whoa, you guys, in my hands, we have a Michelin recommended curry puff. And this is interesting because one of the puff is sardine puff. So there's sardines inside. It's been many, many years since I've eaten anything with sardines in it. In fact, I'm not sure when was the last time I even tried sardine, right? I have two puffs right here. I got their black pepper chicken puff and I also got their sardine puff. It's freshly made. You see them kind of molding the dough and putting in the filling right there. And right away, you can see how flaky it is. And it's so delicate because in my hands, I, could, I feel like it's gonna tore apart already. Oh man, okay. Let's, let's see what's inside. Oh, whoa, say what? Looks like some type of soy sauce, sticky. It looks like there's some mushroom in there as well. The outer layer, it literally just press into it and it just crisps and flakes off. It's insane. All right, let's bite into it. I cannot wait. Holy smoke, that's good. This is their black pepper chicken puff. And it's just this beautiful, crispy coating. It's just amazing. And the inside, peppery. Really, really peppery. Wow. I'm quite intrigued to see how the sardine one will taste like. How do you make sardine super delicious? Let's see. Oh my goodness, opening this up and see. Ooh, ooh. Check out that color, you guys. It's got a brownish color that I wasn't expecting. For some reason, I was thinking it was gonna be more of a dark, silvery filling. Let's pull out, is this onion? Oh, you guys, these, look at this. This is a piece of sardines that's inside. Oh wait, that's onion. Wait, is that onion? Okay, it looks like they might have mashed up the sardine pretty well, so it's really mashed up in there in this filling. Here we go, crispy sardine puff. Take me to heaven. Oh, wow. What? This is incredibly delicious in the most unexpected way. I thought I would taste a lot of that raw fishy taste that might come with sardine, but all I taste in this is flavor and savoriness. This one's got such a kick. I guess real spicy. The other one was peppery, you know, just lightly peppery. This one is real spicy. If you check it out, there's some pieces of red pepper in there. Look at that. It's actually quite a huge piece. So the texture of the sardine tastes like tuna. It's as if you made a mayo tuna spread and you put it between, you know, two bread. That kind of filling, that's what this texture tastes like. But this is much spicier, much more seasoned with onions and whatever goodness they put in here. Wow. This is something else. Call a Singaporean ramen. So it's got all of the best ingredients. I can already see that they have samba on the side, they have prami in there, they have all of the good flavors that you will be able to taste here in Singapore. I cannot believe something so aesthetically pleasing 
is available here at the taco stall. I mean, this looks like a restaurant quality ramen. If you were to go to New York and get something like this, it would probably be $20 USD. This right here is only nine Singaporean dollar. That's crazy. For all of these ingredients, insane. I want you guys to see there's these giant pieces of char siu. Look at that. This is huge. My gosh, I cannot believe it. Oh, wow. So much, so much savory flavor. Almost got a savory miso kick to it. Delicious. On top, look at that gorgeous egg. This is some restaurant quality food. This is insane. Oh my gosh, that egg yolk is just dripping. That looks insane. Next up, I want to show you guys these huge pieces of wonton. Look how big they are. They are just bursting with filling. Let's say goodbye into this. Oh my god. Wow. That dough, super soft. Melt in your mouth soft. That filling, beautiful pork, beautiful shrimp pieces. Wow, this little bite of heaven right here. Holy smokes. Good, good bites. Woo! Slip into it. Mm. Wow. If you guys ever have dried shrimp paste, it's a much of a darker color. This is what this tastes like. It's very savory. It's not spicy at all. Um, and it coats the noodles incredibly well. Like this noodle is coated in sauce. There's not any soup. It's not what you think of when you think of ramen. It's more like a dried noodle dish. But boy, is it, is it really flavorful. It's a little bit salty the way Japanese ramen is. You know, where the miso soup or um, the soy sauce soup is very salty. What I'm loving about this dish really is just the bounce in the noodles. It's so springy, and when you chew into it, it's not soft, it's not dissolvable. You actually can chew into each thread of noodles, and it's just a wonderful bite. Mm. Wow. The last thing I want to try is this item. There's layers and layers of crispy potato outside of it, and inside a shrimp filling. A crispy shrimp wonton. Let's go. Wow. That's a good snack. It looks like a shrimp cake inside with bits of pieces of shrimp. And look at this crispy outer layer. Oh, so good, so good. Mmm, yum. They also gave us a side of soup. Oh, super flavorful pork broth. Um, I'm gonna dump a little bit into my noodles just to kind of moist it up a little bit. See, now the noodles are nice and slippery. And um, I think it's not going to be as salty as before, which is going to be good. Mm. That is really good. I am shocked this is at just a hawker center. This is delicious. Everyone who works around this hawker center, you guys are so lucky. There's such good food here. of the stalls awarded the Michelin Bib Award. This is glutinous rice. And you guys know how I feel about sticky rice. I love it, I love the chew of the rice. I just love when they put salted egg in, which I see right here. I'm trying to see, you know, what, what really makes it so good. It makes it so special because I'm kind of a sticky rice dumpling connoisseur. I awarded it myself, yes. Um, we're getting a piece from just the normal flavor with chestnut in it which means it's also veggie friendly. That's awesome. Okay, let's get some of this sauce. Bite into it. Mm. Oh. Oh. One of my favorite sticky rice dumplings that I'm used to eating. You can kind of see the rice falling apart. This one, however, is very formulated, almost like very sculpted. So all the rice has been very much mu like mashed into um, this shape. 
So look at that. Like you don't see any of the rice falling out. It's just very much hardened. However, it's got a nice sticky bounce to the bite. Mmm. Mmm, yeah. I'm gonna try the piece from the other flavor with salted egg. I believe there should be some mushroom in it. And it looks like there's some meat in here. I think it's pork. It's biting to it. Mmm. Oh yeah. Something about salted egg. It's just fantastic. Usually in a sticky rice dumpling, they usually put half of a salted egg, egg yolk, like half of it. If you're lucky, they put a whole one. And that to me is the best part of a sticky rice dumpling. This one, they pack so many in here. It looks like there's three in here. Well, here's one, here's another one, and there's more here. There's just so much. Look at this, look at this big piece of salted egg yolk. And this is not just one piece, there's many of it. Oh. Mm. I was kind of skeptical about, you know, why this sticky rice something would be better or awarded at least. And I think it's because they are packed each sticky rice something with so much ingredients. Like I've never seen a sticky rice something packed with just, it's just overfilled. With that many salted egg, with this many chestnut. I've, used, I've seen sticky rice somethings with lots of meat. This one kind of packed it with all kinds of ingredients. It's very balanced. So yeah. I can see why it got awarded for sure. Mm. Wow. There's a lot of magic going on in this hawker center. Mm -hmm. We're in Chinatown, heading to the Chinatown complex. Sweating my butt off. Woo, here we are. of today's Michelin episode, and guess what? This stall actually has one Michelin star. Yes, that's right, it's a Hawker Center stall. It's only $2, two Singaporean dollars, and it has one Michelin star. I know. About to taste some legendary soya chicken. Soya chicken has the texture of Hainanese chicken rice in the way that the meat looks very juicy and it has a nice glossy skin. However, it's marinated in dark soy sauce and that's what you see right here on the skin. And I'm hoping it's gonna taste amazing. So here we go. I got some of the chili. We're gonna dip it into this chili sauce. Yeah. Oh yes, honey. Look at that juicy piece of meat. Hell yeah. Mm. Okay, let's do this. I was expecting a bit of a chew from it, but wow, that was really juicy and really tender. Mmm, oh my god. The tail end of this is all bone, so let's move on to the next piece. Only two dollars? Mm. Actually quite a lot for that price, seriously. So we're gonna dip it into some of this dark sauce. You see that drizzle? Ooh, yes! Dark and thick. Let's do this. Oh my god. Wow. Mm. That glossy skin is so yummy. It's got a little bit of a jelly-like texture. Refreshing, just like the Heinz chicken skin. Wow. I don't know how they cook this chicken to make it so tender, so moist, and just so juicy. I get the hype. I tell you what though, the rice is nice and fluffy but just by itself, it's not much. So get the noodle next time because it's a lot kiwier, it's a lot springier. I wish they drizzled more of that dark sauce on top, but the chicken is star of the show and it definitely lives up to its name. Um, wow. In terms of the juiciness of the chicken, I think this is even better than the one we had at a restaurant. Yeah, that's, and this is just at a stall in the middle of Chinatown. Mmm, wow. So oh, good. Mm -hmm. 
There you guys go. That was a little Michelin hawker tour here in Singapore. Thank you guys so much for joining me for this food adventure. What did you guys think? Um, I thought the flavor was all there. I thought the presentation was awesome. It just all looked so visually amazing and it tasted great as well. Uh, in terms of what exactly constitutes and makes the stall worthy of a Michelin recognition, I'm not sure. Apparently they just send anonymous reviewers out to review the food. So maybe hire me? Yes. <laughs> Be sure to thumbs up this video. Comment below with which of the dishes that you saw today, which of the stalls would you love to try? Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.